few champions prove themselves worthy enough to ascend to demonhood. It is not enough to be merely a talented warrior. As they walk the path to glory, a champion must perform a countless heinous acts that especially resonate with and empower their Patreon. Rarely are these deeds simple to accomplish and so those who realize their ambitions are reborn as demon princes, which are amongst the deadliest beings in the realms. While greater demons may treat demon princes with contempt, considering them tainted and by their mortal origins, the slaves of darkness symbolize these beings as proof of the reward for their devotion. Any who witness a demon prince in battle can understand why a man may pledge themselves to the dark gods, achieve their greatest ambition, and as such they often surround themselves with the most powerful warriors they can find. Chosen and a variety of warped monsters fill their hosts, forming a loathsome court over which the demon prince reigns as an infernal monarch. The most feared of these dark creatures is Belakor, the first prince of chaos. Is an aberration. Alone amongst the demon princes, he ascended through the favour of all the dark pantheon. This level of darkness that emits from him makes him particularly terrifying. His schemes span realms and entire centuries and through he has been observed fighting alongside forces of all the Chaos Gods, his true goals remain unknown. Many legends exist concerning Belakor's origins. Some believe that he was the first mortal to achieve Apotheophis, but that as the Gods raised up more of their servants to demonhood, their firstborn grew resentful desiring to one day supplant the dark powers themselves. Another legend claims that Belakor sought to become the most favoured champion. The gods were amused by his ambitions and cursed him to instead crown the ever-chosen, sparking an unending infernal anger with Archaon. Across the realm of shadow, can be found ancient pictograms depicting a being resembling Belakor, fueling belief that he may once have been the ruler of the Grey Realm before the coming of Malerion, and that in the desire to maintain his throne against the Elven God, he turned to the Dark Powers. Whatever the truth, Belakor remains a being of shadow and terror, his manipulating and subtle and far arranging when Belakor takes to battle, his enemies find themselves playing perfectly into his hands. Their horror at such sudden reveals, fueling the ancient demon's hunger as he carves them apart. As terrifying as Belakor sounds as a single entity, he does in fact command his own legion. The Legion of the First Prince overwhelms the demon prince's foes with seemingly ceaseless tide of lesser demons, each of them so foreignly subjugated by the Dark Master's sinister will that they hurl themselves upon swords and arrows intended for him. Indeed, their numbers are so vast that when one is banished, screech into the warp, it seems as if an other free take its place. When the first prince takes to the field alongside this dread host, the enemy knows that their fate is truly sealed. So that is my short lore video for Belakor. So I understand this is a bit of a short video, like, you know, under five minutes for the lore, but that's how I quite like to keep them nice and short. It means I can like sort of record them in a day, do the research in a day and get that uploaded to you guys as soon as possible. Bellacore is really cool. When I see him across me on a table, he's an absolute bastard because he will just pick the strongest thing I have in my army and essentially make it fall into his trap so my big nasty model doesn't do anything, i.e. Nagash. 
on that sort of thing. He's done that enough. He's made Nagashi useless to me in a turn or a whole game almost. So he has lots of presence on the tabletop. Um, he's a super cool character. He actually, um, in the lore there, like I said, has his own legion. You can use that in the game if you have the Wrath, the Ever Chosen book. You can use his own um, like legion ability from that, which is quite cool if you want to go sort of like undivided sort of demon route. It's um, quite a cool thing you can do with that, um, and he's just pretty badass. You know, he was the—he's the basically the first demon prince. He was like the first ever chosen, but Archaon's basically overtake him on that one massively and destroy the old world. But he's—he's he's a great model. What I would say is, if you were to get him, he is resin. Just bear that in mind. I'd do a bit of green stuff in mind, but once mine was. Um, built and painted and if the photos and stuff all worked out I would have chucked a few of those in the um, video while we're talking about the lore um, he's absolutely awesome model I painted mine up to go into my Sinesh army but you really could paint him up however you would like to um, so guys I really hope you enjoyed this video um, if you had please let me know um, what it is that you like about Better Call have you got one yourself do you like him in game do you like his lore what are your thoughts about him It'd be absolutely great to hear and if you did like the video please like subscribe comment down below as that massively does help the channel it's absolutely free I want to say a massive shout out to my patrons do a great job helping me make as many videos as I can and um, that's pretty much it guys so again thank you very much for your votes to get um, Better Call um, chosen I really do appreciate your latest votes and stuff in the polls it has been absolutely great and fantastic and um Remember, as always, stay safe, everything like that. Wash your hands, stay inside, everything else. And until next time, remember, Nagash is all, and all is one in Nagash.